Have you ever wondered how injured athletes are treated? Or what kind of doctors treat injured athletes? Hi, I'm Scarlett and today I'll be talking about sports medicine and how to take care of an injured athlete. Sports medicine is a specialty of orthopedic surgery. This means that doctors who specialize in sports medicine take care of injuries that are more likely to get doing exercise or playing a sport. Sports injuries are cured for either with surgery followed by physical therapy or no surgery with rest and ice, maybe a brace of medication. It also depends on the type of injury that the athlete gets. Some of the most common injuries in professional sports are concussions, a tennis or golf elbow, and hamstring strains. Concussions happen a lot. They happen when you bang your head really hard on something. It usually just needs rest and ice. It can also happen in any sport. A tennis or golf elbow happens mainly in gripping activities, and mostly in golf and tennis. When an athlete gets this injury, they will usually just need a brace, medication, and sometimes an injection. But if they don't feel better within 6 to 12 weeks, they may need a surgery. Hamstring strains happen when an athlete doesn't do enough stretching. When this happens, the athlete just needs rest, ice, and more stretching. There are also some small sport injuries, but those sport injuries can turn into career-ending injuries. Some of these injuries are an ICL tear, a patella dislocation, and a meniscus tear. An ICL tear happens on the knee when there's a sudden stop or change of direction. If if it is a 50% or more tear of the ACL, the athlete will need something called an ACL reconstruction, which is a surgery. Athletes that do this surgery are at risk of having another one. This means you might never get the full strength of your ligament back. A patella dislocation is when your patella comes out of its normal position. It can go back to its normal position on its own, but a repeated dislocation can become permanent. The the meniscus is a cushion between your tibia and your femur. A tear of the meniscus can compromise your mobility. (coughs) There are some bad habits athletes have that make them prone to injuries, or mistakes athletes make when they get injured that make their injury worse or risk another injury. Some of these mistakes are playing through the pain, neglecting physical therapy, and stopping off training. Playing through the pain can make your injury worse. and can also risk injury in other parts of your body, so it's better for the athlete to stop when they start feeling the pain. After a surgery, rest and ice won't help you recover. A physical therapist can help you recover so you can get back to doing what you love ASAP. Some athletes will stop all their training because they are scared, but stopping all training can make you weaker and make your recovery time longer. Being a sports doctor can get busy, very busy. So they wake up very early in the morning just to see if they have an add-on patient. So they go to the clinic very early in the morning, check into their computer, and goes to see the patient. If something is wrong with the patient, they may send them in for an X-ray or MRI. The difference between X-ray and MRI is, well, an MRI is basically more detailed than an X-ray. It is also very common for a sports doctor to work for more than 40 hours a week. When they're working, they're either in the clinic or doing surgery. Some doctors will also do research. Now the doctor may have some time to head into an arthroscopy lab to test out a new instrument that just came out. And they might see a new resident learning how to use a basic tool such as an arthroscope. An arthroscope is a camera that can be stuck into the joint such as the knee, shoulder, ankle, or hip. It allows you to see the entire joint you are working on through just one tiny hole. A biter is another tool that can be used in the knee. It is used to cut out damaged pieces of tissue. Um, There are many different types of biters. It can come in many different degrees, angles, and sizes. A probe is another commonly used tool in the knee. It is used like a finger. It can touch, push, and pull things inside a joint. There are also some cool tools used during a shoulder arthroscopy. One of these tools is is an anchor. An anchor is used to attach tissue back into a bone. A scorpion can also be helpful in this case. A scorpion is used to pass suture through the torn tendon. This is the model of the rotator cuff. This is the bone and this is the torn tendon. To fix a rotator cuff, you first make a hole in the bone, right about there. Then you put an anchor with sutures in it in the hole. Next step involves securing is the next step involves using a scorpion to pass the suture through the torn tendon like we did here. The last step involves securing the sutures into another anchored hole. To help me with all this research, I interviewed Dr. Eric Strauss, MD at NYU Langone Sports Medicine Center. He told me that knee injuries are more common than shoulder injuries in soccer. 
He also said that sports medicine is a very rewarding job. The fun Another cool thing that he said is that female athletes have their own kind of characteristics that affect the kind of injuries they get and how they're treated. For example, ICL injuries are more common in female athletes than male athletes. When I interviewed Dr. Strauss, I had a mini site visit. He told me to come in early so I can see some patients with him before the interview. When I got there, he gave me a white lab coat so I looked like the other people in his team. When I was seeing patients with him, I was just observing but I still saw some pretty cool stuff, like x-rays and MRIs and a model of the knee. We are mostly seeing patients with ACL problems. The ACL is one of the ligaments crossing from your tibia and the femur. The tibia is the, the, your tibia is the shin bone and the femur is the thigh bone. Behind the ACL crossing the other way is the PCL. ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. The PCL stands for posterior cruciate ligament. For my actual site visit, I went into an arthroscopy lab. An arthroscopy lab is a place where sports surgeons get to practice using the tools for the operating room. I met with a man named Austin Alexi, and he's the manager of the lab that I went to. At the lab, I got to touch some tools, learn what the tool is used for, and how it's used. I also got to use some of these tools, but not on real people. I got to fix a fake rotator cuff using cool tools such as a swivel log anchor. This site visit was fun and helpful. Thank you for watching my capstone presentation. I have a few thank yous to make. Doctor, Dr. Strauss, Austin Alexi, and of course, my family. I hope you learned a lot about sports medicine. For more information about my capstone experience, please visit my blog.